Hi guys, the creator uh, was actually pretty awesome and reached out to me about um, how they could work on the boss fight, so I talked to him about it. I'm going to try to beat it again, um, and I'm going to basically show him kind of like the meteor thing I was talking about on the boss fight that I think might be able to be something that could be fixed. If we get through it, I'll probably uh, upload my video with this on it. I might upload it anyways, um, just by itself to show the meteor part, but if I actually beat it, I'll probably just add it to the video and delete the old one. Um, well, 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 Marty Chicken, I see you are. <laughs> oh, why would you do that? That really hurt my beak. Well, if you're not going to give me my trophy back, then we'll have to sell this outside. On the dance floor. Bong. Got him. I'd like to see the ending of this game too. That's one of the main reasons I'm trying to play through it again. Something the creator brought up that I didn't notice myself um, is a lot of the tiles, once you, they spawn for you, they stay the same, which I think is really good. I actually thought they were moving around because the pie spawns move around. This is going to be the biggest dance battle in the history. <laughs> yeah. Because the pies do spawn in random places, but um, the lava tiles do not. They all spawn in the same spot. I tested this out as well by like actually dying. Like I just started this up and died on like phase one, phase two, multiple times just to make sure. But he is correct. He is the most right. You cheated! This was supposed to be a legit dance-off, and you're trying to sabotage me. I thought this was the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Well then, if you're going to sabotage me, then I'm going to sabotage you. And don't think your pies are going to do anything to me. Whoa. Knowing that the tiles spawn in the same place gives me like an immense amount of hope, though. Because one of the reasons I quit the first time was because I was, um... Oh, I kept my pies from the first phase. I didn't know you actually did that. Yeah, I was scared that the light phase would be like random at some point, but they're not. They're not. You could actually learn the phase, which is pretty sick. Oh, I suck. Oh no, my advantage of having all the pies at the start. Fudge. Still suck. I still suck. <laughs> Alright, so this phase you can actually skip if you do this right. You just wait for him to launch log. And then you go here and throw them. Oh, baby. You're so mean, Marty Chicken. Just give me my trophy back and we can be friends, okay? No answer. Fine. Now I'm bringing out the big guns. All right, let's see if I can show you what I'm talking about with the meteors. That really annoys me. All right, pause. Now, can you tell me where the meteors in the back are spawning at? Do you know where they're going to land? You can get an idea. But while you're like seeing these meters in the front, it makes it really hard to tell what's in the back. Um, I've also realized because this is RNG, they don't actually make a path. So sometimes the best answer is just to spam the space key and go over the meteors, which wastes all your pies if you have any. Like you see how I have four here. If I was trying to survive this like 100% of the time, I would have to spam the space key and just like keep somersaulting over the meteors. You can keep somersaulting over them, which I don't know if that's intended or not, but... Um, that's like the best way to survive this phase and I think it'd make a lot more sense if the attack was less RNG and like it actually built a path where you could like weave through it or like jump through it like I understand having to jump like one or two meteors but like how it can spawn right here is like all the meteors could be back to back to back to back and you would not know it or they could be like 
back to back with like a little gap in between and you can't tell by the depth right here where exactly they're going to be falling at you can guess but th there's no way to know and this actually isn't one of the worst spawns um yeah that's one of the things i was talking about with the meteor phase and how it could be a little bit improved upon and there should be at least like a little gap where you can go um without having to rely on like that jumping trick to get through it and just like making this phase where the meteors spawn from back to front instead of like sporadically like it goes from front to back to middle it's just spawning wherever it wants to if you made it from back to front people could actually like see that path that you created and like plan around it and it'd be more like a reaction to um like what they know like you'd like react to the path and like actually have like a plan going into there instead of being like man i hope this really doesn't screw me Another thing with the saw blades too that you have to get lucky on is sometimes the saw blades will spawn like almost all the way across. Boy, that's that's rough. That is rough. All right, back but to the right The problem with that is I can't save pies and do that. So, yeah. But I think you can RNG that enough to get through it, but it's still still RNG. Having to rely on RNG is very frustrating to be honest. <laughs> Because when the meteors fall in the front like that, it's insanely freaking hard to tell. And I think that's honestly a glitch, being able to jump over him. I mean, I'm glad it works, but I should have been able to kill him there. I did that wrong. Oh, man. Damn it. Ah, frustrated. Frustrated. Check in and see. I've got a fever of a hundred degrees. Come on, baby, do your do more than dance. I'm all bloody, all bloody. Uh, one of my things missed. Fantastic. Oh, you... Fair enough. He reach in! Fuck! Alright, so at this point in the picture, one of my attacks missed because something to do with this hitbox. It doesn't always happen, but it's kind of really bad when you can't see anyways because this thing's blinding, so you can't really tell why it missed. Um, but at, what you're about to see is, is this is the same phase, and if you rewind the video, you can actually see it for yourself as the video plays. But he actually does regen if you don't hit him all at once in a phase he'll get his health back which is really tragic it happens in the meteor phase if you shoot him at the start and then you try to shoot him at the end um i feel like he shouldn't regen like his health shouldn't reset until he goes under the lava like he does every other time um but yeah annoying that's annoying oh my god i didn't even notice that the first time i was playing through because it makes it really hard to chip him down during the phase if he can j just get his health back it's like if you don't do so much damage in a certain amount of time with them, it comes back. So you have to hit them all at once. I waited like a second more. You son of a bitch. So this one's just going to be a short little interjection. But just putting a little bit more time at the end of his attacks to hit him would make these fights so less frustrating because you wouldn't be trying to plow through him during his phase. You could actually have time after you survive the phase to hit him. That would make this fight so much more enjoyable because like you could see what just happened there. I was trying to rush an attack as fast as I could right when I got through the meteors and I couldn't collect enough pies to actually hit him before he does his iframe backflip where you can't hit him and then he resets anyways. <laughs> oh, I hate this spawn so much. It's not a good meteor spawn. Got a kiss.
Boom, baby. King of the crop achievement. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching, as always. That's how you beat the no. boss. I How can't believe you've done oh. this, Marty Chicken. You're not going to ruin my plan. You stay right here while I run over there and do something completely unrelated. What the <laughs> fuck? Oh, this is just a troll. This is a troll. He died. It is nuts. What an idiot. I was like, that has to be a troll. I'll freaking kill somebody. I'll kill somebody. <laughs> Yeah, I'll upload this separately. This will be like part two. Oh, poor King Kangaroo. Help him, Marty Chicken. But we all got hungry. Oh, I was supposed to be reading this. You understand, but if it's any consolation, you ha can have my crown. He ate his wife? That's what happened there? Well, okay then. What? <laughs> That's tragic. Well, we still beat We finally beat it, boys. Go through the credits. Cause the story gets crazy. The story gets crazy. I like the music. This is good. <laughs> oh, these don't kill me anymore? Sick. I was dodging those. <laughs> like... Alright guys, so I'll talk about the things. I'll try to show in the video how to do certain things. Um, the razor blades, you have to hope you get lucky and it doesn't spawn like all the way across almost, the saw blades. The meteors, you can jump through them by spamming the Z key, but God, it'd be so much better if you had them spawn from back to front so you could see where they're going to go. Cause some of them can land on top of each other and all kinds of randoms. The attacks are completely random, which kind of sucks. But this was an awesome game. I loved it. I hated that final boss fight. Still, I'm not a big fan of it. But there's just a lot of RG in the attacks, and it's really annoying. There was so much RG in the attacks and picking up the pies. It made me think the floor was RNG, and it actually wasn't. Shockingly. The floor spawns the same every time. Alright, if this... I don't think this ends. Alright, I'm just gonna leave. Hooray! You have unlocked King Kangaroo's crown for defeating King Kangaroo. You have unlocked Chief Tile Rap. I like that. The Chief Tile Rap was really good. That was sick. King Kangaroo's Rifle? I want to see what that looks like. King Kangaroo's SMG. Alright, let's look what we got here. Take off that stupid cleaver, boy. <laughs> that shit. That was annoying. Where's my rifle at? Oh, where, where, where is it, though? But my King Kangaroo Rifle. Maybe you can only use it on his stage or something? Give me a second. I just want to see what it is. Oh, maybe it's something for lazy tag? Let's see. Laser tag this way. I honestly didn't even look at this game mode when I first played. Oh, uh, it's like PvP or something? Nah, I'm good on that. But, I do have King Kangaroo's Rifle, which is kind of sick. Wherever it's at. 
Should I try it out since so you guys can see it, I guess? Maybe if I can find it. There we go. King Kangaroo's rifle. He bought when or do I want King Kangaroo's SMG? Oh, we'll do both of them. No. Weapon shop. Oh, you can buy stuff. Cool. Well, at least I know what it is now. Or can I find a match? Let's see. There are currently no rooms available that are public and have space. Yeah, screw it. We'll make our own. Well, I'm not trying to fight anybody in laser tag anyways. I'm just trying to test my own thing out. How do I get my weapon? I am the host. Start game. How do I start game? Yeah, I want the King Kangaroo's rifle and I want the King Kangaroo's SMG. There we go. Keith Kangaroo's SMG. Who's Keith? Are those robots? Or nobody? How do I shoot? Oh, that's my box cutter. Oh yeah, this would be terrible to aim, actually. <laughs> I don't think that... Oh, I don't think there's much difference. Alright. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'll try to make it in the video and like make some hints on how to beat the boss. It's actually still super hard for me. And I had to get pretty good RNG on how to beat it because attacks are still RNG. But, alright guys. Thanks for watching.